All right, right away, wherever you are. Whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh yeah, I have to place my ship still. Give me one sec. Oh yeah. Do you want to? Do you want to do? <laughs> you want to do battle? Right, I'm good. Okay, three, two, one, go. go this on. is a Pokemon Fight Club race. First to catch all fighting types wins. I think that's it. Oh, do we do want to any, do anything special once we have all the fighting types? That's tough. Hmm. Oh, I have a great idea. Okay. I'm not sure how much you'll like it. Okay. You have to win the tough contest. No. <laughs> Why not? T it's contest? Crazy. It's one contest. It's the tough contest. It's probably not that hard to win it. Oh, God. Contests are so slow. It's like four minutes. But it, that's like WWE, man. That's not real fighting, you know? Yeah. Exclamation it, mark like, VIP the thing that makes the most sense to me, you know? Like, what's a better ending? Uh, we could also do the battle arena. But we'd have to beat the game to do that. Oh god, yeah, that, that's a little long. Mm, something like... Use a fighting move on a fighting type or something? That's so boring. From a fighting Pokemon? Uh, okay, fair enough. We have to use the move beat up at the end. Beat <laughs> Oh god, we have to find beat up then? You know beat up's rare because it's a weak move. <laughs> That's true, yeah, it's less likely. <laughs> Fighting type, I auto pick it. Beat Brawly? Uh, we're gonna beat Brawly early, I'm assuming. You kinda, yeah, we might have to beat Brawly to continue. Because I also was thinking about that. I think Tough Contest, Battle Arena, or Use Beat Up are the three best options we have for how we finish. Oops. What star did you go with? Zaw 2. Yeah, me too. I don't think there was a correct or incorrect decision. Well, okay, one of the options was wrong, but two of them were fine. Wait, okay, how about you win by knocking out a Hitmonlee after obtaining all fighting types with a fighting move, and I win knocking out a Hitmonchan with a fighting move. We should update that ruling so that we have to beat up... Wait, it wouldn't work. The emit names are too long. Yeah, it's fine. I have to... Wait, I have to beat Hitmonlee. You have to beat Hitmonchan. Is that what yeah, you're saying? Yeah, because I'm beating okay. I'm beating you. You're Hitmonchan. And I'm... Yeah, that's fine. I'm Chris Monty. Did I not save? Oh, I'm fucked. I think I just didn't save. It happened. Back home. Okay, I think that's a decent idea. I think that's a decent idea. That's huge power, by the way, for those of you in chat who are wondering. That is actually huge power. On Zatu? No, Meganium has huge power. Oh, okay. Fuck, this doesn't even work. Thank you, Holden Shift. Can I get another encounter, please? Hello? This might work. Yeah, that's I like I like that idea. Does the I I mean I, I think we shouldn't force the fight. F, it needs to be like it doesn't need to be a fighting Pokemon using the fighting move because that might be impossible. Rock Smash, it's never impossible. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's why I was thinking like. I have to have like Hitmon Shen named Hitmon Shen and then do the fight or whatever, but I was like, oh, that won't work because uh, 
it's too long of a name. Okay. We can I can put that into a command. Hitmon no Hitmon Shen isn't too long, it exactly fits. Pokemon are ten letters. Chris Mon Lee, I think is one letter over. Yeah, true. Are you through the rival yet? I haven't tried yet. No, you haven't tried. Okay, okay. Make it sound like it's pretty tough, though. I have an idea. I'm not confident that I'm trying. There are decent odds that this goes poorly. Alright, this dies, it is 100% huge power. Okay. That's the move it's gonna go for. Nice. Oh, it didn't one-shot me, actually, with Ancient Power. From full- wait, really? Yeah, I lived on one, yeah. Oh, okay. I was gonna say that was probably close. I've dropped its attack two stages and I live on seven. I figured out so how to win. I'm, I just dodged I'm four dynamic punches. I'm through. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go. That works. That's pretty quite simple, actually. I could PP stall it, actually, in a weird way. That would be an option. Okay, once more for everyone just joining. This is a race. First to catch all fighting types. And then knock out a Hitmon with a fighting move. From using a fighting Pokemon, using a fighting move, knocking out the opponent's Hitmon wins the race. So I have to knock out a Hitmon Chan, and Shan has to knock out a Hitmon Lee. Do you want to add more complications, or are we good with what we have? I think I think it's good. Right? Okay. Yeah, I just want to make sure. Go for ancient power. Okay, it goes for that. Still. So I've used two of them. I've used three of them. I've used four of them. Okay, it is out of dynamic punch. It is now required to use ancient power. Oh, it goes for splash. Interesting. That's not guaranteed. It can use Ancient Power here. I'm very confused why it's spamming Splash. I would like you to kill me. Okay, give me the Paralyze. I'm through the rival. That was complicated. Uh, is this runnable? I'm actually curious if that was huge power or not. That Maybe I'm sense. like minus defense, zero IV, Zatu, or something. So bad. <laughs> the first trainer. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, you'll see. Oh, okay. Fighting type, I guess. And I thought I got lucky, Chad. God damn it. Actually, I don't need to do this yet. Yeah, I have two spots. I 
I mean, Le Leech Seed's kind of good. Uh, I still have this one, Leech. I'll keep Leech Seed and then just set up physically to get through Rock Sand. Oh, I have that Pokemon too, I think. Yeah, that's what got all the XP on Meganium, so it's kind of going with it. Yeah. I, I, I won it with the Zaw too. Alright, well, option one for checking if that has huge power would be just capturing the Chikorita that I just found. <laughs> option two would be to do calculation for the next, like, five minutes to figure out if I could die the Ancient Power. And that's what we're gonna do. Ancient power, level 5, zero attack, into level 6 Zatu, I was. Or no, I was level 5 Zatu. Meganium's maximum damage is 43.4%. No, 43 to 52. Yeah, it's huge power for sure. It did 100%. And the max roll is 52%, level 5 into level 5. So we have officially confirmed huge power on Meganium. You picked the wrong starter, Chris. <laughs> we definitely did. And it had ancient power too, man. That would have been runnable. Huge power, ancient power, yeah. It only has one move, though. Oh, it's nice polyrath. You look it up in the decks, by the way? I didn't. Okay. Did you? No, I didn't. I already end Polyrath, though. Yeah, same. <laughs> <laughs> I <c> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> that, it was, I, was, I was like, oh, man, I got so lucky, and then the uh, fucking yeah. trainer ruined it, man. <laughs> I was like, nice, free fighting type, and then it's just on the trainer. I'm glad we both went through the same trials and tribulations there. Are you timed out? I don't know. They probably misclicked Jarvis. I'm not missing anything on the calc. It is definitely huge power. Is there a Moltres sub alert yet? No. Any other Pokemon that turned fighting type other than Farfetch'd? Can't think of one. Now, Zoldar, you've asked me to make a sub alert mid race when I'm also in a Discord call with Chris. Just letting you know that. So I might forget. Because this is where I will say, tell yeah, me Zapdos. after the race. Zapdos. And Mewtwo. You're right. Yep. Mega Mewtwo, Zapdos. Sneasel. Sneasel. Oh, is the first one also fighting? Yeah, I think it's fighting poison. Okay, I thought it was just the evolution. Are there other Megas that turn fighting? Not sure. What's funny is, does Heracross lose fighting type? No, it stays the same. It stays, okay. I thought it became like rock type, because I know it uses rock blast a lot when it mega evolves. Jarvis, you won't believe this. Um, you were actually dreaming. <laughs> it didn't happen, what you're referring to. It's just something weird with the tracker connect. Yeah, double or nothing. Here, let's do- I'll do double or nothing right now. Oh, unfortunate. 
That's terrifying. That's annoying. That's really bad. Okay. Let's see one more. Wow. They always heal here. I see. Unfortunate. A lot of XP. Oops. Um... You know what? I have an idea. It's called this time I'm gonna hit the moves. It's a better roll. Unfortunate. Hit and I win. Hit and I win. Hit and I win. <laughs> I'm one for, I think, nine on grass whistles right now. Not having a good time. Oh yeah, I use I use grass whistle too on rival, and it hit first try, but the mega game also woke up after one turn, so it didn't even matter. Yeah. I get a better roll. Actually, I should do this. Never mind. I'm just gonna lose anyway. Alright, use barrier, come on. Okay. I am not being fortunate right now. The That's strategy so in general is to be lucky, but it's not happening right now. Quit bright powder? Yeah, I could. It would be a way to win. Dude, it's like... How can I possibly win, you know? Like, I can't even hit a Mega Punch, which is like 90% accurate. Is there any cool Gamba we could do? Uh, you could predict, like, Gym Leaders as well, or... Which of the Hitmons I will fit, find first, or something like that, I don't know. That took a while. No. I'm gonna try to knock this one out. One more, I'll just be one more wild and then just go in for Roxanne. He's so far ahead of me. I have I have struggled with every fight. Everything's been horrible. Please get one item worth any amount of money to over 100. Perfect, thank you. That's free XP. It's open with... Not thinking this will go well. Honestly, that's pretty good. 
As long as I hit my moves, I think I'll win against Roxanne. That's annoying. My moveset is like Gust and Steel Wing and Octoon. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to run the Frowligator because the moveset was really bad. I'm plus six. I, I think I'm doing fine now. Yeah. Oh, hold on. This wants me. Oh god, that's really bad. I'm plus six. Man, it lives. I did one sixth damage with, at plus six. It's pretty impressive. Okay, its ability saved me though. I'm good. I'm through. Time. I'm probably have to center regardless. Okay. Is this? Oh, okay. Is this prediction is a little risky? Because this might incentivize people to spoil. I so don't know what that means. I think the prediction is which which Hitmon will I see first. I don't know how that would be a spoiler. Like if, if let's uh, see, you, you find yeah, Hitmon yeah. Lee or something, and then Chad I is like, oh, saying. you should go there, Chris, you know? Yeah. Just to like try to win. It might be important. I probably should have equipped that honestly. What's going on? Thank you, Cruise Baron. Thank you, uh, Kreuz Baron. Say that again. Kreuz Baron. Is that actually how you pronounce it? I think so. I don't, the C at the beginning is weird. Everything else makes sense to me though. Should be a K. He's fancy. I'm not. <laughs> I don't know. It looks. I, this could be like. Are you Swiss or something? Oh, I'm sorry. I'll I'll be American here. Thank you, Cray Utz Baron for the for the resub. Thank you. I mean, you already Kruitz said like. Baron. Kruitz Baron. <laughs> That's how I always said it. No, I mean, <laughs> Chris is using the correct enunciation, and I'm out here throwing because I don't know how to read. And Krayat's bar on is gonna go into Chris's chat and be like, actually, Shen's correct. <laughs> maybe, Just maybe. because, yeah. Fellow memer. Other reason I do is to hear the difference in pronunciation. What's going on? Smile. Oh no. That's so stupid, Chad. I found Mankey early. Mankey I'm not. I'm not sure. He, he, maybe he did powder? too. And he's gonna get it for free because he's fishing here too. Man. Dude, imagine dodging a move that's like 85% accurate. Do you guys remember when I was fighting that Tauros earlier? And it dodged 10 moves that were 70% accurate? Ah, good times. Oh, that's horrendous, the last. It might actually be the literal worst case scenario. You can oh, figure never mind. It. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. That was this me, and then it showed me color change, and I'm like, oh, okay, never mind. This is fine. This might still be winnable. I have that Lapras. I can't remember what move it just used. I think it was Body Slam. A nice little Intimidate. Okay, so I want to make it Grass type, probably. Maybe. That's annoying. Re-intimidate up. I have a grass. I'm gonna go Fraligator and try and Fire Punch here. And I can kill it with Psy Beam. Oh, I don't have Fire Punch on this. I thought I did. Gust it is. Oops. 
Yeah, the only other way when this is dodging a move, and we all know how long it would take for me to reset to dodge one move. Oh god, that's horn drill. Please. All right, I win if I don't get crit or if I dodge horn drill. It is 39% accurate. Double hit self in confusion. Hit by horn drill. Unfortunate. If I would have hit through either of those confusions, I would have won. All right, with well my level two soul rock, pull it off. <laughs> I have now hit myself five times in our own confusion. Cool. Level two soul rock was enough. Let's go. Oh, let's go. I'll be leveling for about 20 minutes, but I'm through. Yeah, sometimes you get critical and then get confused and then hit yourself six turns in a row in confusion and then find out that it's horn drill and it hits both of your Pokemon with horn drill. Yeah, it was just a lot. I found one of those right. new fighting types. Honestly, Blastoise could be a fighting type. If Blastoise ever gets a new regional, that it'll probably be fighting. Or steel. Maybe it gets like actual guns with bullets. You know? Have oh, you I seen did center here? Have you seen Gigantamax uh, Blastoise? No, why? Its design is really, really weird. <laughs> oh, maybe I have seen it's, it. It's, it's like a missile defense system. Isn't that just a Mega in a way? No, the Mega has like one big cannon. The, Gig the Giganta has is like an entire like defense missile unit or something like that. Oh, uh, yeah, I haven't seen that. You know, I could have won that fight. I could have stalled out, roll out level 5 with the Lapras, and then set up to plus 2. But I would still have to hit through Confusion, and I mean, that's why I lost anyway. So, I don't know. should make a tier list of, about which Pokemon to bring to war. Blastoise is going to be number 1. Okay, use Teleport over. I feel like Tropius would be one of the best Pokemon to bring to war. It can fly. It's infinite food. <laughs> True. The food sword. It's probably still pretty strong compared to humans. Raja based on the war elephant? Probably. I wouldn't know. I haven't interacted with very many war elephant experts in my field. Ooh, the... Gen 8 water starter. The sniper. There you go. Yeah, I'm not sure how long range it is, though. I mean, to be fair, you'd probably, like, auto win 
like any war if you bring choice specs Mewtwo because <laughs> it can just use swift and as we know in like multi battles damage doesn't get reduced for spread moves regardless of how many opponents there are so you would just hit everyone with a choice specs Mewtwo swift that's like against you and it can't miss because it's swift that's quite good I'm not sure how the theory works, but I'm pretty confident you would just auto win the war. Unless they have, like, a human that can tank choice specs swift from a Mewtwo. And I would be kind of surprised if that were the case. Oh my god, Chad, I just tried to run from that because it's not a fighting type. But I still need a main, and it's actually good. There's no world I didn't save, right? Uh oh. I failed to run like 18 times, and it's not even a fast or high level Pokemon. Just catch it, if before wiping. I know, but like, it's so much faster to just run. I was surprised it was even faster than me. Giga Drain. Like, is pretty fast. Giga Drain Muddy Water. What about ghosts? Maybe a good idea. What do you mean by almost sugar? Man, that would be runnable. I have a leaf stone. But I got it a little. Nice, that's runnable. Alright, we did that. Alright, all the bad luck I had on all the fights has been averaged out by getting a level 40 from Super Odd and like eight fishes. Like, now reasonable. Alright, moving on. My, mine's good enough. We don't have to beat much anyway. Yeah. It's mostly Norman that can be a problem. It did have pickup. I thought it did. Okay. Wait, that's a terrible move. <laughs> Hold on. Right, how bad is this thing? I found beat up, <laughs> but we're, we're not gonna use that. My Pokemon's only reasonable move right now is low kick. I'm not, not hugely a fan. Uh, we had to, we just had to use a fighting move against our Pokemon at the end, right? It didn't have to be on a fighting type. On a fighting, a fighting type using a fighting move. Oh, okay, so we do need a fighting type with a fighting type. Chris probably checked the log, and he knows <laughs> that Hitmonchan is on, like, the first route, and Hitmonlee's only in Victory Road. The train up to, like, level 50 to kill it with Rock Smash. Right. Yes, I have a Bright Powder equipped. Is a decent held item. Yeah, I have like every stone right now. Oh my god. Okay, let's let's drop the war comments. <laughs> Oh no. What's your favorite card in war? Mine's the ace. Do you call it that? You probably 
<laughs> you might have a different name for it. No, the ace, yeah. In German, the ace is called us, which is spelled A-S-S. -S. Interesting. Fun fact. <laughs> Who would have thought that the least ass card is the one called ass? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I found the worst item in the game, a Master Ball. It's literally a Pokeball that doesn't sell. And it's slower Useless too. item. It's slower too, isn't it? It's what? Slower. I don't think it is in this game. What's it is going in Crystal. On? Yeah. Beazup, thank you. But in Crystal, it's useful because you have to throw three balls, AKA throw 14 and still don't catch it. What's going on? Why are we fighting Pokemon to the death for money? <laughs> hey, thanks, man. Oh, oh, oh. Now we get four encounters. Imagine if that was higher level. The 23 balls of the wheezing. I didn't think it was 23 balls I threw at the wheezing in my 124 run, but it was a lot. For a 30%, it was a lot of balls thrown. There's a move. I'm running fighting bug coverage. Oh god, he used howl. End it. What? The mechanic used howl. Oh, you're dead. Just kill it now. <laughs> you've, you've run out of time. <laughs> I just got a little excited seeing HMO2 pop up, but we're not playing Piat and Reno. He's already through the rival. You see, your boys out here struggling real hard on like every fight. You have a you have a level forty though, right? Yeah. Is it good? Is low kick signal beam? Is it a physical Pokemon? <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. Well, that's not bad. It also has AC wind, but that doesn't count. Or powdered snow, even weaker. Welcome to the stream, Flame Little Dragon. It's pretty sure it will do. See you later. I never made the command. I still need to do that. First person to catch all fighting types and then beat a Hitmon with a fighting Pokemon using a fighting move wins them. I have to beat Hitmon Chan. Chan has to beat Hitmon Lee. Who do you think would win in a fight between Chris Mon Lee and Hitmon Shen? Chris, think... we get the move beat up from the move tutor. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I taught it. I taught <laughs> it and then taught it. over it immediately. <laughs> it's funny. I'm just saying we could have done it.
I miss the good old days of beat up. Well, actually, no, beat up's so good in competitive. It's like such a funny meme move in competitive. Chris Mon Lee is an emoji. It's beautiful. That's debatable. <laughs> no way this kills, right? Is it at least a flinch? Oh, good crit. That probably mattered. You can add if you want. And wait, beat a Hitmon using a fighting Pokemon <laughs> using a fighting type. <laughs> uh, using using a fighting type move. Just put the race will end when they determine the race will end. <laughs> the race will be ended when it's over. Winner wins. Wait, I should heal. I mean, this could be the race that ends with the unknowns. It's gonna happen someday. Yeah, there you go, Alien. There you go. Thank you, Alien. You're great. Thanks, Rob. Ooh, Choice Band. Interesting. Choice Band Rock Match? Could be a strat. One of us is gonna get screwed over by one of the hit ones being like post game. <laughs> That's what I mean. Uh, well, it doesn't matter because you have to catch it. It's just like oh, it true. could be up to level 50 in the wild. Which I guess the really level, bad. it's only the level that makes a difference. Yeah. It would be nice if they were just both like an average level. Like if they're both in the 20s, it's like really reasonable. Do we have Sweet Scent or is that oh, still you, broken? No, so he sent his bugged in this. It's only an EX where it's not bugged. Okay, I thought it was the other way around. No. Uh, Revo started working on EX and then didn't really update this version since EX started. So there's a bunch of issues on this version and EX fixed all of them. 
But the problem with DX is we can't pick and just do like Gen 3, so. Yeah, not yet. Thank you, Ted. Everyone's first favorite type. What? Oh, what was yeah, everyone's nope. first favorite type? Grass. Um, that was probably electric or bug. I really liked Jolteon, B Drill, and Scyther as a kid. Jotan was and still is my favorite, yeah. Okay. Um I may as well get a plus two because it's not gonna kill me this turn. What kind of rando? You like steel because you thought Steven was cool. That's pretty sick. Steven's Sand true. I know Adef always talks about Pokemon that are sitting. So he was probably also a Sand true fan as a kid. Thank you, Michael Swat. Watch the tapes. Um, there's no shot I killed this in one hand. Never mind. Why didn't I teach Sarf? I'm still using money one. I wasn't sure how heavy Groudon was. I was pretty sure it was heavy enough, but I didn't think it would kill. Yeah, it's weight based starting in Gen 3. It's better than balance. I got a normal move early. I was like just about to get a normal move and I get the slash TM. Epic. Uh, not this, this. It's a good name. What up? There's a botanist called Forest. Oh, that's pretty cool. You imagine your parents like nailing your future occupation like that. <laughs> right. That's kind of cool. I think yeah. my child There's probably really botanists the out. Trees. There's gotta be a botanist in this world that's called forest. Oh, 100 percent Leave. 
I may just leave, honestly, for now. I yielded 1 item for no reason. It was a star piece. I'm really happy about that. How does that evolve, chat? An item I wouldn't normally pick up. Forgot to get off the bike. That is a 4%. Okay, I hit right like three times for sure. Yeah, probably smart to get the XP shot on Nice, that's actually info. Let's go. Info? Indeed. Earlier, that's close. Yeah, if only that was in this game. Uh, why am I going this direction? That's a noopsy. Exclamation mark fight club, Get okay, so I add one more funny meme to our long list of ending race conditions. What is it? Which one? What? If we both get a hiker, it's a tie. <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's the just first, funny. But only on the first uh, one, right? Only on the first one. I did yeah. not get a hiker, by the way. I didn't. I didn't. Yeah. It's one in 64 squared. So it's like one in... It's like shiny odds. It's just funny. It gives Chad something to be hype over when, when we get the hiker. Or we could say the first person to take the train auto wins, and it gives us like little bit of meta that it's mm. technically worth to be the first one to the lift. One in six. Just four. Per person. So squared. Microlia was also female. Rip. We also have the unknown rule in this chat. If I find an unknown L and Shen finds an unknown W on, on our first unknowns, he wins the race. And if we both find G, it's a tie. If we both find G on our first unknown, it's a tie. If you think this is complicated, yes. <laughs> like, it's the whole <laughs> point. I, th I think I remember distinctly when we were talking about the unknown G thing. Someone in chat going, this is dumb. And I, I was just like, I was so close to just timing them out. I was like, no, you don't get it. <laughs> you don't understand, man. <laughs> I should, when we do the next race intro, I should mention all these dumb rules too, <laughs> with the unknown. <laughs> yeah, we should try and like get all the rules listed or something. Cause we do have a lot. Oh, that was a very fast egg hatch. You heard this is the stream where you can see Prism being beaten up? Yeah, this is the right place. Bully. 
Chris has taken my lunch money for like seven years. <laughs> And are we joining Twitch stream of boxing? Yeah. Nah, I'm, I'm just gonna go for it. I can check later. It's a good thing I'm only using low kick on steels and rocks because it'd be really annoying otherwise. They're all at least somewhat heavy. I still haven't talked about I'm, I'm throwing. I haven't talked about yet either, actually. I'm not through Norman yet, though. Ooh, a fake out TM. That's interesting. Yeah, post on your clips channel and just link it. You just link it as like our stupid rules. Chris, in Norman's gym, do you go right or left? Right. You went right, you said? I usually go right. And yeah. going left. Oh, God. I can say whatever I want. He can't even go back. <laughs> Fighting every trainer. <laughs> Chris, I find a Pokemon with low kick. Or that learns kicking moves. Wow. <laughs> Only in Let's Go, though. I think. Wouldn't trainer grind be the quickest way to see all the necessary encounters? Yes. Now, you may have noticed that these trainers have one Pokemon. Which, therefore, means they are slow to do battles against. I could also just wait till later and fight trainers that have six Pokemon. And that would be fast to fight against. Maybe, Kenny. Don't. Of course. This is the probably single worst move that this Pokemon could have had. Oh, I should have left and get the XP share first. It was like 40% to get burned every turn. Because I have a Bright Powder equipped, so it was only 85 power. Kind of too late now, whatever. Die the e-speeder mock punch. Just lives. I can't kill this. Okay, we're fine. That was lucky. Surprise it died. You just think I've been good today with Kangaskhan. Not bad, not bad. Mine started pretty scuffed, but it's like okay now. I'm just gonna attack. 
Are you running a physical Pokemon as well? No special. Okay. I didn't know if we both had the same painful situation at the same time. Was it drought? Oh my god. Hey, 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 we were on the same fight and you were getting burned. I was getting burned and Surf does no damage. Dude, yeah. I, I'm i running a physical mon and just, like, I just need to heal till it didn't burn me. Just like, I'm gonna, come on. I'm definitely, I'm gonna wipe. I don't have revives and I didn't save. My main is really good. I didn't expect to lose a battle. What are you running? Gardevoir. Okay, I have a Kangaskhan. Oh, I had a Drizzle Pokemon. No. Oh, that sucks. Oh, I could have won this so easily. To the countered. Yeah, I'm wiping. That's a bigger threat. Oh, you know what? I should have probably just killed the hunter. Quick intermission, I guess. Anytime I evolve a Pokemon, I think of the, um, I think of Pokemon Pinball when they hear the music. I didn't think about Emerald. That's a good game. You should, you should try Pinball Catch Them All. Isn't that like 20 hours? No, it's, it's, it's eight. Eight hours. That's not terrible. They have manips though, and they're super annoying. I always, I usually do manipless. Is it eight with manips? No, it can be without. I got an eight without. Oh, okay. Manips like. Chris tells me like I do manipless normally, and then says it's an eight-hour run, and he's like, "Oh no, no, no! With without manips, it's twenty-seven hours, but with <laughs> manips, it's." eight hours no 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 it's so annoying the the manip is like it, it's like not fun it like pause on the on a certain frame and then reset your console reload the game and i don't know it's it's extremely difficult and it looks like super boring yeah manips for pokemon runs are kind of complicated sometimes Dude, I did the entire Weather Institute route with one encounter with grabbing the Lava Berries. What the hell? I was are like, dude, I want Pokemon. I'm yeah, not I, I, I was gonna say, are you not gonna stay for some more? <laughs> no, no, I was like trying to get encounters and then I just literally can't. Did the whole route with one Pokemon. Maybe you have stench. No, I haven't. I have an ability that's not stench. I don't remember what it is. What was it? It was some garbage that doesn't matter. You 
Yeah, low kick was probably strong enough. I'm a dummy. Okay, we're fine. I could have gotten drill pack there and guaranteed the kill. I thought about doing speedruns on Halo Infinite. Uh, no, not really. The speedruns don't seem very interesting. They're like very glitchy. Have you played all the Halo games? I've not played Infinite. I played all the other ones. I feel like a lot of people don't know that about you. That you're like big into Halo. I used to be, not so much anymore. I was like fifth place at one point in Halo 4. I was never like that good of a speedrunner of Halo games. Yeah, a fighting type using a fighting move. Vishnu. Why is he looking right? Oh, I bonked. Oops. Looking right because I bonked. Alright, well this guy's gonna have info now, here we go. No matter what, I'm gonna pretend like he has info, because he'll beat Chris. Holy crap, that's really good. Wow. I need to go there, chat. Do you have hair across and Medicham, holy moly? Oh my god. Oh, T-Pad, do you see my new emote? You're part of it. <laughs> I don't know if T-Pad's seen it yet. T-Pad, have you seen Chris Modley? <laughs> the original. Look very close at that to that. Yeah, Chris used my likeness for an emote without my permission, so I used seven people's likeness without their permission. Oh my god. It's not like you've Still done it first! <laughs> what was that, Chris? You've done it first, man. Yeah, but that was funny. That was so we could spam it in chat during the event. <laughs> <laughs> I just never removed it because it just turned into a meme, you know? I mean, it was a good, it's a good emo. And then Chris lost two races, both of which I put it on the line and then took it anyway. <laughs> in typical conniving Chrism fashion. <laughs> Chris Monley creeps you out so bad. Yeah, it kind of does. I think it's the teeth. I just don't think him on Lee should have teeth. Raph asked. Yeah, that's true. Raph did ask to be part of it. I think it's funny that Raph is the only name that I couldn't really fit anywhere in the emote name. It does look... it does make me look bald, which is funny. Wait! Oh. And it, it makes the whole Hitmonlee look naked as well. <laughs> <laughs>
The arms on it also just look like they're attached so poorly. Some pretty good blending though. <laughs> yeah, they're very like low effort emotes, honestly. <laughs> No, him only doesn't normally have a mouth. This might be catastrophic, by the way. the XP share ages ago. Whatever. Yeah, I'll do this, Chad, for the hype. I'll have you know, I put a great amount of effort into Googling how to animate in Photoshop. You learned a skill from that. <laughs> You know what, that is true. I, th I honestly thought there would just be like a rotate image function. But yeah, learning 3D animation just for a shitty meme mode is pretty impressive. Uh, not yet, Shenna, but uh, NPC randomizer should be a thing at some point. See, the problem is they have the new artist badges and I would give it to you, but you're an animator. So it's like, you know, <laughs> it's kind of an issue. There's interest in it, Chenna, so <laughs> it'll probably be a thing at some point. Can you give those an addition to mod, by the way? I don't know if you can. Dude, we about to get five for five on Rock Smash? Come on. Never been done in the history of mankind. Unlucky. That's huge, chat. This, that means the race is not going to take 10 hours. <laughs> no, I can't. Brazilian. Do I have other strategies? I thought of a funny meme for like a YouTube video where the title is something like trying to beat Mario 64 in under an hour and then the video length is like, is like 10 hours. <laughs> <laughs> that was so like, good. that's the whole meme. <laughs> I don't know what to do it with though. Yeah, no, that would actually be really good, doing, like, catching every Pokemon in every Pokemon game in under an hour, and it's, like, a 40-part series. <laughs> <laughs> like, each video is 59 minutes. And just put, like, part one, part two. That's pretty good, though. You know how there was the video where they were like playing Halo and they were putting rubber bands around the TV until the TV broke? Do you remember seeing that video? From from what? This is a while ago, but there was like a... It was like, can we beat Halo before the TV explodes? And they would put a rubber band around the TV at, like constantly and they were just putting Interesting. rubber bands around the Out TV of, like until a CRT? the TV exploded. Yeah, it was a CRT. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, we, me and uh, Easy Escape were talking about doing a video where it was the same thing, but it was, can you beat Pokemon before the TV explodes? And I was going to just chill until the TV exploded and then beat it blindfolded. <laughs> 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 it would have just been really funny as like a counter to that video. Wait, that thing's on the land and the water here. Interesting. I'm 
mod plus artist badge is a thing when it fully rolls out. Gotcha. Oh, artist badge, right. There's a couple people that would get that. I should just make a meme where anyone who draws me a going live soon screen gets the artist badge and just get a bunch of really crappy live soons. Save me some effort. I could add the artist badge to the VIP and timeouts thing. <laughs> you can oh my God. become artist for one minute. <laughs> He's already coming up with a way to sell out with the artist badge. I don't know, man. Can I beat Halo before the concrete arms around me? What? That's insane. Before the concrete what? Before the concrete hardens around me. <laughs> <laughs> You're like in concrete trying to play. Oh my god, that's that's an incredible video. Oh my god. That was one of their videos. That's a real video. That's <laughs> oh, so god. stupid. Oh my god. Are they even speedrunners? I don't even know if they're speedrunners. They're probably like six hours in. They're still on like... <laughs> like three, three Guilty Spark or something. Oh god. They're like still in the library. <laughs> yeah, so he's got three more levels of the library, and this is already hard as bricks right now. I would give the artist badge to Sugar Freak. Flame. Uh, Swift to Lou. Everyone that made emotes, I guess. Oh, did Swift make some of your emotes? Some of them, yeah. I didn't even know. Swift made. <laughs> notes, Zip, Pause, and Nerd. Oh my god. The Meganium. You just wipe? No, I forgot it exists. Okay, it's dead. I hit, I hit dynamic punch. It walled, grass types were all my moveset. <laughs> Meganium is terrifying. I'm glad I came back. I, I'm i in mute. I, I don't want Chris to hear what I'm talking about. Okay, sure. This feels weird, Chen muting. Oh my god. So quiet. <laughs> I do mute sometimes too. Sometimes I have a button on my. Alright, I'm back. Sorry. You did. Okay. So you found Heracross, I heard. What makes you think that? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. For muting, you know. He's muting. He said. I'm muting sometimes. Okay. I have a I have a button on my controller, so it's really easy. No, I did talk strategy with chat because I had to look a Pokemon up because it could have been catastrophic. Oh. Okay. But everything is fine. I got way too many encounters here. I'll discuss it later with at a later date with you. Cause it it, it doesn't even really matter. We can share progress in like 10 minutes or so. Works for me.
Do I can trade this for a non-fighting? Um, I think she I made would... Chris beg as well. Actually, yeah. She made Chris beg, but she didn't make Uga. And she didn't make Sleep either. I hate not having sweet scent. This is such a pain. TM check, maybe I have it. RNG. Done. It should just replace Flash with sweet scent. Like, we don't need False Swipe to be both in HM and the Move Tutor. But I mean, they could also just put the sweet scent TM back. All right, this time I'm gonna show off the cool thing, guys. I'm also going to mute because it would tell Chris where I am. Okay. I'm gonna show off a cool thing, though. Are you are you jealous, Chris? They're all gonna love it. Damn. I wanna miss out. through again. It happens. I know there's an item there. I just don't remember how it works. Hmm. It's here somewhere. In spirit. Have you found Sweet Ten? No. Have you checked yet? No. Yeah, same. The problem with us uh, doing a Sweet Scent deal this run is it would be like, yes, I have Sweet Scent. My Breloom has it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, where do you find that? <laughs> I'm an idiot! Okay. I figured it out. I was correct. I'm just bad at the game. Which is weak versus dark is weak versus which? Fighting. Oh god, hold on. Let's see.
What's on brand? Oh, the fighting thing? Yeah, yeah. Are you still plotting over there? No, I was trying to be cool, and I was correct, and then I look like an idiot because it's not in speed choice. <laughs> so, I don't know what to say. I got punished for being not bad at the game. Wow, it's only one. I didn't realize that. Why would they remove it? I don't know. Yeah, before I forget, I do want to do this. Dig, that's pretty good. Mm. I picked up Dig, but TM. It's not gonna be Dig though. Oh. You see, the the, <laughs> the thing is oh. everything is messed up, not just one thing. I thought Dig stays Dig. I'm actually main switching again, by the way. Interesting. The rare double main switch. I know what you're main switching to. What is it? I, I, uh, oh, I, I don't want to say. Interesting. <laughs> In his head. <laughs> he made switch to Heracross. He found it. It's funny he's like too afraid of giving me info by accident that he won't say what it is. <laughs> Can I find the hidden item before the concrete hardens? I'm literally going to ban you. You're actually <laughs> so gone as soon as I am not moving my character. I'm, I'm actually so mad about this stupid item. <laughs> I'm actually so mad. <laughs> it's like kind of annoying. It's just, it's just, you know, it's sometimes you can't, you can't be mean to the streamer, you know what I mean? You just gotta, gotta take 10 now for bullying. All right, Chad, prediction. Do you know what I should do? I should have a prediction that's like, who will catch Heracross first? And then, Someone will have to be like, yeah, Chris caught hair across. <laughs> oh my then. god, right right as I revealed where I was. And yeah, and it like depending on when you catch it, you have to like run or something to not get down. The most incredible thing just happened, Chen. What happened? I just evolved a Tyrogue. Interesting, into which form? It <laughs> hit on top. <laughs> Just randomly, I didn't check the stats at all. That's nice, yeah. I have not seen Tyrogue yet, but I do own a member of the Hitmon line. Oh, you can get it. Yeah, so I could get Tyrogue. It was pretty early too. Yep. Yeah, I don't have Hitmon top or Tyrogue, so. 
you double infid me. <laughs> That's crazy. If I boy. find a tire rug, I can evolve it. The prediction was which oh, will no. we see first, Hitmon Lee or Hitmon Chan? <laughs> Oh, that's good. <laughs> and everyone was like, pause, it's evolving. <laughs> they thought. I didn't realize you had a uh, prediction for which one you would see first. It's not even a one in three. I don't, I don't think. Is it? What do you I mean? Think, like, odds-wise, if you don't check the stats, Hitmontop's got to be the rarest by far. Um... I'm actually not sure. It, it also might depend on the level. Oh yeah, true. Like true, the, true. the farther away from level twenty, the more likely it is to not get him on top. But it may be kind of likely to be him on top uh, if it's close to twenty. Can't wait for the next time Shen makes up some shit to try and impress us into gifting subs. I put nothing on the line for that. I said, you guys want to see something cool? And then I failed to show you guys something cool. That's stupid. When do we beat up Chris? Uh, right now. I'm an idiot, I forgot to get something. I have to make up for it. Guys, I'm not memeing, like I literally looked it up. It's literally right here. Like I'm, I'm not wrong. Like you can't even see it. What is this thing? What do they call this? This? Oh yeah, you want to compare? Uh, I have six total owned and two additional seen. I think that's exactly what I'm at. Oh, nice. I can't look right now though, because I'm showing them that I wasn't wrong. Nobody sub right now, by the way, because I don't have the alerts on. Well, they're behind the thing I'm trying to show you. See, it's right there. I was not wrong. That's exactly where it is. Whoops. Look, right there. See? I was not wrong. They're not seen, but they're like about to be. Alright, big question. You guys want to see something cool? Big question. Question. Have you seen Heracross yet? Um, I don't know if I should answer that because it's funnier. Hmm. Are I you think that means Chris owned. I think that means he has Heracross. Are you maining a Heracross? No, I'm not. I mean, switch to level 38 Latios. Oh, that's pretty good. That has Thunder Shock or Thunderbolt, Fire Punch, Surf. Oh, you still have Thunderbolt, the TM. Yeah, I kept it. Dang. I was running a Kangaskhan, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah. I wasn't going to teach Chibo to Kanga. Though I actually did think about that. Kanga has like 35 special attack or something, right? I think it's 40. But that might be Tauros. They like owned the Safari Pokemon. Oops. He didn't switch. Right, you guys want to see something cool? Focus, Jacob. Do not throw. I kind of gave him info. They're then. all counting on you. I kind of told him that Heracross comes at runnable level. Maybe I'm throwing. By the way, I missed seven, and oh. I wasn't looking at my uh, my tracker. Seven owned and a fat zero that I can look up. Actually, that might be false. I may have seen a um, Machamp at some point. Machamp line's completely unseen for me. I've seen Torchic, actually. 
So I have to look up. Torchic line two. Line. And I've seen Heracross. Got him. Oh. <laughs> He's freaking out now. I thought your whole muting sesh was about you main switching to a Heracross, and it was funny. <laughs> that was in my head, what you were doing. No, the funny thing that happened was I was trying to show chat where a hidden item was that you can only pick up from above and below. And yeah. it's just straight up not in speed choice. It, I went to the right spot and I was like, guys, check it out. I can't hit A here and pick up an item. And I'm like, but if I go above or right from it, and then it didn't pick up, and I'm like, yeah, I'm an idiot now. And then I had to look up a video and see if I was in the right spot. And I just wasn't. Or I, I was in the right spot, but it just wasn't there. So I was trying not to look like an idiot. Yeah, you can pick it up from above and right, but not below and left. It's the same as the item on the beach. There's a couple items in Emerald that are like that. That's one of them. No, okay, it wasn't in the right spot the first time, but then I thought about it, remembered where the right spot was, went to the right spot, and it w still wasn't there. You are correct. I was being an idiot at the beginning. Yeah, I did save time with this, and it's faster because right now it's really annoying getting encounters in the water, but I can get them fast I'm on the bike. <gasps> He's cheating! It's not cheating. We agreed upon this previously. <laughs> God damn it. I've never done that trick before. It's one frame. It's pretty neat. You literally just hit the B button. You can spam the B button, too. How do you do it? On the frame that you enter the door to the like underwater base, you hit the B button. It's like, that's all it is. There's just like one specific frame when you're going into the door that you can hit the B button. It's later than you think. It's like right before the transition would like take you to the next area. Whoa, while diving? Yeah, so like you're, you know how like you can dive and you go into that black door that yeah. takes you to where you undive? Yeah. So before the first door, you just hit the B button. Wait, the door that makes you undive? Yeah, so like you're on route 128, right? You're on the route and you dive down, right? Yeah. There's the like dark door that takes you into C4 Cavern. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, you hit the B button when you're in the door frame. I see, I see, I see. And it will ask you if you want to undive, and then you undive and it'll be on a rock. And because you're on land, you can, uh, you can undive because you're on land. But, or you can undive into the rock, but then you can get on your bike because you're on land, and then because you're on a rock, it ejects you into the water. I see. And you are I see. I see. so it's specific to like that one one area only where you can do it. Yeah, it's the, it's only there. I feel like you do it every race. So. <laughs> it's yeah, because it's fun. It's actually faster if you hit it very quickly. If you hit it first try, I think it saves like 20 seconds going to Pacificalog. It's good for this kind of a race because you don't have Sweet Scent when we're on the water, so it's faster when you're looking for water encounters. Yeah, the Glitch Emerald route doesn't go to Four Tree. They go like three tiles away from Four Tree. Because they get the Palmic Berries. I should have gotten encounters there. That was stupid. Do you guys see why it's good to have the water bike?
I can actually feel my joystick heating up from the friction of my hand rolling it over and over because I've still not gotten the encounter. Oh my god. <laughs> I was over a minute. Right, well, I heard a Pokemon in the overworld, so I've already gotten two of the slots. Didn't we AFK on, like, a route before and Chet freaked out because they heard the cry of the you Pokemon? You strat. Are you one missing? fish and move oh, on? Oh, I was muted. Didn't we AFK on a route before where, like, the last Ultra Troll was and Chet freaked out because they heard the cry? Yeah, that happened once. I forget what the <laughs> Ultra Troll was, though. I don't remember. <laughs> Dude, I just fished up another good level 44. No, 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 Bregos. Yeah, apparently Adef and Latios. I don't remember what the other one was. I, I don't know if you saw said a question before your first one. Uh, exclamation mark, Fight Club. Hey, damn. What was the Kanga ability again? It was worthless, right? That was Levitate. That isn't worthless. Yeah, I think B and ADAP were doing some kind of co-op thing. Tonight? No. No, no, no. Uh, we were doing, like, some co-op thing, and Ladios Cry was in the water. He went to AFK to get a drink, and we found Ladios, which is an Ultra Troll. We may have been doing Dragon Ball or something. is so bulky and it still has color change interesting it's electric right now hmm yeah we don't really have much strategy left <laughs> i could fight trainers i guess oh yeah now it's all the luck at this point I'm like trying to medic game your hair across info because you were like, do you have hair across at one point? And I'm, I'm wondering if that means you're more likely or less likely to have found it. What What do you mean? You're trying to figure out if I found it or not? Well, because you asked me, uh, do you want to share hair across information? And no, I said, no, 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 no. Sharing it. I if we don't. No, no, no. You were saying share if we've seen it. Oh, share if we've seen it. Yeah. Because you asked me, have you seen Heracross? And I was like, I don't know if I want to tell you. Yeah. And I'm trying to deduce if that means that you've seen it or not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, would he ask that if he's seen it? <laughs> uh, oh, I see. I see. I don't know. I don't know. Would you answer that if you've seen it? <laughs> well, I, I don't know. I'm trying to like <laughs> think about if you've seen it or not based off of... The fact that you were willing to ask me. The, <laughs> the mind games. Because <laughs> I'm like, I don't know if you would ask me that if you've seen it, which made me think that you had it. I mean, we were comparing what we've seen, and Heracross is the big one in the room, you know? <laughs> yeah, but then I have to, like, I have to think about how I want to answer it, too, because if I haven't seen it and I say no, then that makes you think that I have seen What's it. What's going which on? Which means. <laughs> You're gonna look early game for Harry Cross. And you get bingo. But oh, if no, I that's... have seen it and I say no, See, you're okay, gonna look I... early game for Harry Cross. That's why I waited until we're both at like, you know, the point where we have dive and everything unlocked, where we yeah, don't know yeah. where where we are or where we would have gotten it, you know? If if I had Harry just... Cross, like mega early game, I would be super quiet about it. Obviously. Yeah, fair. But why would you ask me if we've seen Heracross information? Because then I would know that you've seen it <laughs> I don't at know. some point. It's, at it's some not point, Victory Road. Somewhere it's in not the... Victory Road. I would know that. <laughs> it wouldn't be in B-Road when you asked me. True, I guess. Because you know I haven't been there. 
Dude, you know what it is? It's probably the Sky Pillar Mon. I just haven't done Sky Pillar yet. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> he knows. Or it's like the Lugia or the Hello or something. Uh. Yeah. I'm Logan, now, thank you for then... Prime. Thank you very much. And hey, Spicy Quail. Wait, you didn't get Hello Lugia? No. Why would I? That's not going to bait me. You're not going to bait me with going to get Lugia. Wait, but he evolved a Tyrogue. What if what, what if one of the 70s was a Tyrogue and he can't eat it? <laughs> I'm in his head. <laughs> Maybe I am going to get Lugia ho <laughs> I, th I think you got me. I think I may go get him soon. Anyway, these games have a bunch of mind games to them. Wait, what if he already did get Hoalugia, knows it's not Tyroke, and tries me to get there now? Oh no. That's true, yeah. What if Lugia Hoa was Heracross? I was talking to Chad about main switching to it. The moveset was garbage, but they also got a level 38 Latias. I was like, oh, I'll just switch to Latias instead. Oh, man. There's no chance you wouldn't take a level 70 Heracross. <laughs> like, there's no chance. <laughs> I don't know. That I'm one doesn't add idiot, up. idiot, Chris. I'm not sure if level, level 30, what, 5 Latios is better than level 70 Heracross. 38, excuse you. <laughs> 38, okay. Put some respect on my Latios, please. What if neither of us has seen Heracross and we just look like idiots talking about it? <laughs> like all along, that's pretty good. <laughs> I'm convinced that you might have seen Heracross. <laughs> Listen to you. I'm convinced that I think you it's, might have seen it. I think it's 35% chance. <laughs> convinced, seen though. Convinced. <laughs> How convinced are you of me having Heracross right now? What if I guess high? Is that info? I don't know. <laughs> I have no I'm going to give it a solid 50%. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. It's a coin flip. We all know how Chris is with those. Almost had to gift 100 subs earlier. Oops. Oh, my God. There's e-speed slacking. Yikes. Yeah, guys, this is actually kind of crazy. He either has it or he doesn't. It's one or the other. Yeah, if only Chris picked Tails. <laughs> would have been a hundred subs richer. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. I def definitely didn't just pre type the whole message and put my cursor over where I was going to type heads or tails when you were. Yeah, you sent that purple. really fast when I said it. <laughs> I literally had to. I wanted to make the message long enough that you knew that it wasn't like. I didn't type the message after you flipped it. I wanted mm. it to be like instant. <laughs> it was funny. Is like the prisoner's dilemma. I don't know what that is. It's more like the um uh the cat meme. Have we seen Heracross? If nobody's observed Heracross, how can we know that it's been seen? <laughs> that dude must really like Jigglypuff, yeah.
Oh, did I ask you this last time? Do you like Monopoly? Uh, yeah, I like Monopoly. Would you want to play sometime? Yeah, sure. Nice. I also like Monopolies. Uh, I think it's really sick that like one company can own like the entire internet in one area, for oh, example. Yeah. <laughs> or, you know, like a power company. Did I tell you about how I lost power for seven hours two days ago? What? What happened? We just lost power for seven hours. That's a long time. Yeah. It was warm. <laughs> well, that's better than cold, I think, in that case. I guess that's true, yeah. Also, when I, when I asked, uh, do you like Monopoly? I, I instantly thought, oh God, it's a D's Nuts joke. And, and I was the one that said it. <laughs> no, I mean, you could have said Monopoly D's Nuts, but I didn't think you would have gone that way. No, it was, it was genuine. Is it, you've asked me this before. Yeah. Because we also talked about speedrunning Monopoly, because it would be funny. Oh yeah, true, true, true. Where everyone's trying to PB at the same time, but you never know, like, who's gonna win. But you can make other people's PBs worse if you play well, if you know you're gonna lose. Yeah, I think a Monopoly speedrun would be really funny. People have done it. Well, people have done it against computers. Yeah, against computers. I think it'd be funny to do against like four humans. I'm the best in Monopoly. Is, is it really a game that you can be like good at? I feel like it's a lot of luck. A lot of decision, good decision making, yeah. And I mean, the, the offers and trades and stuff. That's true, you can be convincing. That, not only that, but making, just making good offers, like good deals, knowing what's worth what. Dude, we could put like subs on the line during our Monopoly thing too. Not like on the line, but like, if someone gifts a sub for the next three minutes, Shen cannot say no to a deal or some, <laughs> some garbage like that. Dude, that could be pretty fun. We have like a wheel that we spin that has a bunch of like memes on it. And then you spin the wheel every so often. I think Monopoly is more fun when you have like additional rules. I don't think I like the vanilla rules that much. Chris Mon dig. Monopoly. Oh my god. No, I realize we both might get rolled. Wait, how rolled is Chris? Let me find out. I just realized this is a thing. Okay, never mind. Rolled. Uh, yeah, something very interesting happened earlier. Uh-oh. GDQ games this thing four days, by the way. I have zero hope, but who cares? I, I honestly don't care that much, but uh, it would be kind of nice. It would be kind of nice to do... Emerald. Yeah, Emerald would be Yeah. Nice. I think our Emerald idea is pretty fun. Clubhouse games would be sick too. You used to make Clubhouse? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Monopoly map Rando is pretty good. You can like move all the squares before the game. I like that. We should play Fortnite Monopoly. Wait, what? Fortnite Monopoly. Is that a thing? Yeah, you like drop in into whatever piece you want in the beginning of the game. Interesting. 
There's probably an optimal strategy to that, so all 100 players drop on the same one. <laughs> 100. Isn't there 100 players in a Fortnite game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not in. I don't think in Monopoly. That seems crazy. You know, it'd be really funny. Monopoly with like a hundred people. Oh my god. <laughs> you have to form alliances. Yeah. A 100 player Monopoly game? Ooh. That sounds like a Mr. Beast video. And it's, a, it's like $1 million prize pool. And whoever, <laughs> they can form alliances to share the money. Ooh. Yeah, it's like a big board. That's exactly what I was picturing. Like a big IRL board. All right, guys, give me a million dollars and I'll tr I'll make that video. <laughs> yeah, you have to fly people out too. That'd be an expensive video. Fly out a hundred people, house a hundred people. Film for like multiple days. Cause this Monopoly game is not going to be fast. Yeah. You're gonna need some kind of portable like bathrooms so that people can go to the bathroom so they don't have to leave their square. Because they're going to be on this board for days at a time. You have to like build housing on the square too. When like if they don't to... get a hotel up on one of their squares in time. <laughs> when you go to jail, you go to real jail. <laughs> you call the actual police. <laughs> the actual police. Like, With like arrested. varying results. Yeah, you legit build houses on the board. So the only way you get housing during the Monopoly game is if someone builds a house and you have to pay them. since I found something. That's good. We just need the Blaziken line and the Medicham line and we have all info we need. Oh, okay. Oh. have to wait so long for your turn. Oh, yeah, 100 player would mean whoever goes last is screwed, yeah. It's screwed, yeah. Absolutely no no shot they get anything. No, but you know what they could do? Mm -hmm. You could pay money to go up in turns. <laughs> okay. That sounds like a scam. <laughs> I would like to move earlier. Yeah, but you lose money for it. Oh, interesting. So like, you mean Monopoly money. <laughs> I was thinking like yeah, real yeah, money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You lose Monopoly money for it. So like you start with $1,000 or whatever, but you can pay like 50 to move. That's interesting. That's interesting. I like that. Because you only want to move early on. You you want to go in within the first like five people. Otherwise, you get nothing. 
Even better, you bid for moving. They auction off moving. Whose turn is it? We auction it off. One dollar, two dollars. Do I hear ten dollars to move? That would be interesting. Yeah, blue is unseen, did that? Yeah, maybe a hundred people is too many. Chris, I have six Pokemon I could not possibly catch. Are you scared? That you cannot possibly catch. I have zero way of getting six Pokemon. Um, I've z <laughs> that are on the on the tracker. You mean? Were you about to say you have zero Pokemon you can't get? No, 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 no. On the tracker, you mean? Yeah, I have six Pokemon marked in blue right now. Like, for example, I can't get Breloom. I haven't seen Shroomish or Breloom, so I haven't marked I blue. Oh, you marked them blue. Okay, for me, four would be blue in Ooh, that case. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> there you go, info. Is that... <laughs> that could mean he's missing Medicham line and Combustion line, and he has found hair across, or he's missing, like, Machop line with no hair across. <laughs> interesting. There you go. interesting, interesting. I have six, and he knows one of them is Breloom, so now he's frantically trying to figure out what I'm missing. No, I don't really care. <laughs> Fair enough. I, I mean, it's, just I mean, it's, really it's, quick. it's Breloom, and five more on the Trekker itself? Well, Heracross yeah, has to I'm missing six, dude. Heracross has to be part of it. It's such a meme at this point, dude. I, I don't know if Heracross has to be part of it anymore. Heracross, Champ, Line, and Metachamp is my guess. Wait. That's seven. Not possible. <laughs> That's seven. Hold on. Do you need Juan's badge for Waterfall? Yes. Oh. Ooh, that's massive info. He doesn't <laughs> have Waterfall yet. Uh. dry for Chris because he has nothing to do with water and falls. Let me tell ya. Oh my god, what a Shen, what the hell? Dude, that was a bar, what are you talking about? Because <laughs> a wet floor, you know, people fall on water, but you're a dry floor. Because you have nothing to do with water or falls. Just combine this waterfall. I, I, I understand. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying, like, that was pretty clever. That's all, I, all I'm going to say. It was the E-speed slaking again. Chris, be honest, do you have sweet scent on anything? I found- I didn't find it, no. Okay, I don't either. Water encounters have just been painful. Yeah. Hey, you Sigmar. This Heracross encounters for you. Didn't work, unfortunate.
Why did we start this meme so late? I don't know. What meme? This race. Yeah, I kind of thought this would be long. I didn't know how long it would be. When I heard there were only 17 Pokemon, I was like, hey, that's probably not that bad. Dude, have I seen one Pokemon in the water like five in a row? I would like to stop gyrating my finger on the controller, please. I'm tired. Okay. Grand Bull also could totally be a fighting type. And they made it fairy instead. Well, I mean, I guess so. I mean, it's 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 been called a fairy since Gen 2 in the decks. Oh, really? Yeah, it's the fairy Pokemon. Huh, they even know. Right? I think that's the dex entry. The whole reason I came here. Let's see. Snab snubble. Are you looking it up? Yeah. Interesting. Dude, I'm tired of seeing this Pokemon in the water. I've seen it on consecutive routes as the common. Yeah, it's the Snubble is the the fairy Pokemon. I can't escape this, dude. It's just always gonna be here. That's convenient. Cool. That doesn't matter what level I get the other one at. again. Darn. Yeah, it is just really weird that the fairy Pokemon is like as angry as it is. Dude, Ho has drought. Imagine that in competitive. Yeah, that'd be broken. Drought Ho with Sacred Fire. Seems fair. It's based on the myth of a dog fairy that's basically a goblin. Huh. The Morina? slots per water are you f forcing yourself to get at least one <laughs> i'm getting two <laughs> i've been doing one and sometimes two <laughs> okay 
Yeah, I should have all of 36 meganium. I'm thinking about that. Oh my god. Why is this no. Pokemon following me? No. Yeah, I can see it. Something weird just happened to Chris. <laughs> he talked in his meme voice. What happened over there, bud? Everything okay? Everything's okay. Just playing my game, you know? Interesting. I don't think he's just playing his game. I think he's doing something far more sinister than just playing his game. He's probably playing Wingspan. Yeah, he's playing <laughs> Wingspan on the side. I'm playing Wingspan. Quick, ask him about this cookie clicker. Do you have cookie clicker open, Chris? Uh, yeah. Interesting. Do you always have it open when you stream? Uh, yeah. I, I usually do. Oh, interesting. Okay. So I was, I, when I was maxing my UIM, I was doing the same. When I was racing small I understand it. Uh, for the first time, he was playing Minecraft at the same time. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, he was like farming like RNG in Minecraft. Wait, what was he like? What action was he doing? Uh, he he kept checking if a village spawned in his in his village, like one of those wandering ones. That's so weird. Yeah, he doesn't respect you at all. <laughs> I know, as right? a competitor. <laughs> Well, there goes one of my revival herbs, me too fast. It's probably a skyblock thing. He's been working on all advancements on that for weeks. So he's playing skyblock. I know vaguely what that is. That's where you start on like the block of dirt in the sky and have to do as much as you can. Yeah, 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 that's the one. So he needs like a specific NPC to spawn, I guess. That's rough. Yeah, my RuneScape uh, career now is I log in, I see if any of my friends are killing next, and I log out, because no one ever does. That's not true. Sometimes people do. Play Galaxy by 360 Chrism. Hey, let's go. Oh, another view for Chris. Guys, I highly suggest you all click on the link at the same time as me. You can mute it in the background if you'd like. But just click on the link. Ah, we're skip, why not? Yeah, leave a comment if you want to. It'll be funny. See, look how good things go when you listen to Galaxy. Everything's better now. You found one. Yeah, I did. I found Medicham. <gasps> I still need that. What was he lying? Dude, meditate is a high level evolution. <laughs> I did not want to get that thing to 37. 
Is it 37? Yeah, dude, it's really high level. <laughs> oh my god. Is this, it, like, I found Blaziken too earlier, and it's like, yeah, this is nice. <laughs> True. Comment Metacham, sure, if you want. Smell Shen playing mind games. I don't even know what I would be mind gaming. <laughs> I found the Metacham, which guarantees not having to get a Meditate to level 37. <laughs> There's now that a 0% means... chance that you need to evolve it. Wait, that's info. That means you do have Heracross. What do you mean? Because it was Breloom, Metacham, Meditate. Yeah. What makes you think it was Metacham, Meditate? Oh, I guess you could have seen it before. What makes you think it's the Machop line? Oh, I've got it so... I'm so upset <laughs> now. Hey guys, the whole point of this is to like annoy the other person. <laughs> He's trying so hard to figure out what info I have now. Oh, you guys don't get to listen to this. No, it was galaxy only. Dude, my hand is getting tired from spinning in the water. This is so annoying. Can I please see a new encounter? Wait. I'm just gonna leave. Pat. Yeah, we're gonna right now. Wait, I arrived. Oh, I have a life potion. A mind game race where you catch all the psychic types. But we have to try and beat each other's heads the whole time. I'm trying to think if there was a way that we could have rules around being in the other person's head. Where you get like a free shot if you're in the other person's head or something. <laughs> Yeah, he really tricked you there. That's a freebie. my info come on oh chris i'm already half done i'm at eight owned i'm at nine owned i figured well you're actually at 10 owned because you have to count me <laughs> see that was a good one <laughs> <laughs> the free heal here. Darn you that. Should 
check this stride out, everybody. God, there's so many cool ways that could have gone. Fishing more than once is so annoying, bro. Yeah. I actually kind of prefer the lower level, but it's okay. Um, I guess I should go there and check. I don't think it's been long enough. When's the first to catch all water types? Oh boy. That's a long one. That's a long one. Might be, I think normal types would be the worst though. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's more waters, normals, or poisons. It's probably normal. I think, like, ultra troll wise, it's gotta be normals. And oh, actually, psychic might be the worst overall. Why? Uh, just like legends? A million legend and legendary, yeah. Dude, it might be flying as well. There's a lot of ultra troll flyings. Oh my god. I wonder what no type legendary has fighting ultras. type. There is in later gens, just not. Yeah, now. yeah, later gens. Well, technically, Mewtwo even, but. You don't even count that? That's also interesting. Beat the champion with their own team race. That sounds interesting. I wonder if it would be possible to do a race where we can only win battles if we match the opponent's team. Oh my god. Like, no, like for regular Emerald. Oh, not for Rando, okay. <laughs> I, that that's like possible outside of the rival. I feel like. Can you get nose pass before Roxanne? I don't no. think you can. No, no, no. I don't think you can. There's there's a bunch of Pokemon like that. Yeah, I think Roxanne becomes the issue. I'm officially down to one uh, one Pokemon impossible now. Oh, he's nose pass uh, in the bike room. Wait, there's no bike exclusive room encounter, I don't think. What are you saying? Is there bike exclusive encounters in the cave? There may be where you need the bike to go up, but I don't think that's the case. 
I don't I think the encounter table is the same. Are they saying wh like what location? Yeah, for nose pass. Like is that where is that where nose pass is? Because I think it's rock smash only, which means oh, it's rock not smash. Mega exclusive. That, that might be it. So it's not possible in Gen 3, but it may be possible in other gens. Gen 2 it may be possible. The first trainer has a Rattata. Oh, and you can't catch that? Yeah, there's no Rattata. Darn. You definitely can't get Scyther before Bugsy either, so... Oh, true. Rattata is available in Sprout Tower. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is generally like a gym leader thing where you just can't beat them anyway. You can't match their team, I mean. Alright, Gen 4. Gen 4... Uh, you can't get Kranidos. So you're locked at Kranidos. True. Um, alright. Gen 6. Oh, uh, you can't get Pikachu. <laughs> There's a the forest trainer. Man, this sucks. It's like such a neat idea that's not possible. Uh, Drillback is probably still not strong enough, but we'll get for it. Yeah, we're fine. You can get farm black weight too, but not complete it. Are there any like weird fights in black weight? No, you couldn't do it in Gen 1 if you start in Safari Zone, because you'd have to beat Koga to get out of there. And you can't beat Koga with. Or you can't get uh, Weezing. Uh, maybe in yellow version. Uh, you can get Venonat in yellow and beat Koga with Venonat Venomoth. So yellow, it's a bit more possible. I didn't have the XP share on it. anymore. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to do Sabrina because of the champ. Or uh, sorry, Alakazam would not be possible. Yellow gets far, though. Yellow gets far? 
Uh, Lit? sorry, yellow start safari. Oh, start safari. <laughs> Because you can get Venonat to beat Koga, and you get kind of access to a lot of spots. Yeah, she has a Mime in red-blue, but you can trade for Mr. Mime in uh, red-blue. Yeah, she has an Alakazam, which is impossible. Can you corner bonk an Emerald? Yeah, but it's better not to bonk. Oh, okay. But you can still wedge yourself in the corner and look at only those two directions. You can kind of spam an emerald. Idea would work in Pokemon Crystal Clear. Yeah, I don't know anything about that game other than you can do the gyms in any order. One of the fighting types I own has dig. Oh. You want to do the uh, the unseen check now? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm missing one. Oh. I need to find one specific Pokemon and I can finish. So, okay. I have nine owned, one seen. Oh, like you have one. How many unseen? One? Oh, how many to finish? Yeah, like can you finish yet? No, I can't finish yet. I'm missing okay. still two evolution lines. <laughs> Ooh, he gave me more info. So you've seen Heracross. Well, yeah, you, you told me you need Heracross. Oh no, I don't need Heracross. I've had it for hours. <laughs> Didn't you say you need one Pokemon to finish? Yeah, it's Breloom. <laughs> I, I haven't seen Breloom one. Oh, so it's Breloom Shroomish, okay. Yeah, yeah, Breloom Shroomish. Yeah, I've had Heracross for hours too. Yeah, I figured we both had it and we were memeing each other the whole time, and that's what made <laughs> it funny, because I think we both had it forever. Where'd you find it? Uh, Fishing and Zen. I saw it there too, but I had already owned it before. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm missing the Blaziken line and Medicham line still. Ooh, interesting. Okay. I've actually seen... Ev I have everything of that... Oh, wait, no, I don't have Medicham in. I've already finished the, um, the evolutionary line for Blaziken. I have both. Oh, it's level 25. Could be worse. Oh, and I'm at 11 end. They didn't say how many I didn't end, yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. He's a half a Ultra Troll from Dunn, and I'm... Uh, it's complicated. Hold on. <laughs> He's frantically calculating. <laughs> half plus third Ultra Troll <laughs> from Dunn. <laughs> I can actually look up quite a bit as well. I also only have to do one breed. I only have to breed for um, uh, Tyrogue right now. All right, I really hope this Mon is from fishing because it might actually be high level.
Otherwise, I'm probably going to just slap the XP share on the thing I have already. There's no point grinding this out. I need to fish this up at high level if it's the fishing encounter, which is kind of bad. I'm just beat some more trackers. Nope, not from fishing. Okay. So there's no point in grinding this because it's going to be roughly the same level. So I should just put the share on and then. You don't understand, Acklin Star, how slow contests are. We've never, not raced, that. we've never raced them before. They're like three minutes, I think. That's right. Alright, let's go catch the other two and then let the trainer grind begin. Your choke is evolved. You're already evolving your Machoke? Yep. <laughs> How? Dude, I caught mine at 28. That's like the highest level I think it's available. <laughs> yeah, I caught it at 30, I think. Okay, yeah, dang. It's a surprise you already got that done. Nice, let's go. My Tyro egg is ready. Very lucky. A button here. Oh, there we go. Um, dude, why is it only in the water? <laughs> I just don't want to be spinning in circles for like 10 minutes. Come on. Oh, do you own um, all of the Hitmons yet? No. Okay. I was just curious. I'm still missing him on top anyway for them. Alright, a couple more trainers. You know what? I can just start fighting trainers now, so I may as well just do these. Chris ever planned to play Gen 1 again? We do Gen 1 races here and there. Every now and then. I really like Gen 1 battleships. I think it's a really good format. It's like nice and fast paced. Mm -hmm. Our last Emerald yeah, ones were pretty good. It was like an hour and a half with the free shot every five and plus shot for everything else. Yeah. By the way, just put the XP share on Machop and found Machamp in the wild. Oh my god. <laughs> it's fortunate. Realistically, that doesn't matter. Because <laughs> I'm literally starting the trainer grind in like two minutes. So I was going to just evolve it naturally through the trainer grind. I guess I can put down Tyrogue now. Alright, if I finish this thing up and it's level 37 or higher, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, we got fighting with Nina. Worst case, we were we thought about this. Where if we didn't find a fighting move, we could have had Rock Smash. Yeah, Rock Smash is always available. You'd imagine one of our fighting type Pokemon has conversion. So you have to like kill it before it uses conversion. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh no, it's ghost tape now. If the counter with foresight. the vitamin shop. I might need to buy vitamins. <laughs> Bingo. Alright, I've now fished this Pokemon up seven times in a row. Can I see the other slot, please? I'd like to see those slots. There we go. May as well go here for it because I want to do trainer battles regardless. As long as my egg patches by the time I get there. Oh yeah, we we did dragon already, Shen. Yeah, we've done Dragon Ball multiple. Times. <laughs> it's Dragon Ball. It's literally Dragon Ball. <laughs> well, okay, for Dragon Ball we don't catch all the dragons. Oh, we don't it count would be the pre Very easy. Yeah. Like we've done basically this for dragon oh a dragon ball race for anyone interested it's also on youtube it's we have to catch all fully evolved dragon types and then use wish on a rayquaza and then where and when the wish comes true the race is over we don't have to catch rayquaza i think right or no no that is not part of the catching yeah, we catch both Laddies, um, Altaria, Flygon, Salamence, Kingdra, Dragonite, and then use Wish on Aquaza. Yeah. Oh, and every dragon has to be in a different ball. Yeah, seven different Pokeballs. Seven different. Once again, there's someone in chat who's new, who's like, the fuck? <laughs> One of our better ideas. <laughs> it's yeah, actually so bad. Good, yeah. The, the the ultra troll count is so high. Yeah, well, it's only three, I think, right? It could be worse. It could be a lot worse. All right. Well, if I super RNG into Brawloom, then I am done within the next probably five minutes. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> he knows where it is. <laughs> no, 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 no. He Good knows. luck. I want. <laughs> I want to go. I don't want to like stream another four. You know. No, I'm just saying. At any moment, you can. Uh, you could be done. You could just be like, "Hey, Shen, Brolim's here." And I just oh, oh my no, that's lame. Again. That's lame. We're we can't do that. We can't. Yeah. <laughs> I just. I just can't do that. Tyrog is evolving. Yeah, Chat. I this is for the prediction. If it's another hit on top, I have to press B. Be really funny. No, it's not. It's hit one Lee. Ooh, okay. Okay, so he here's the meme. You ready for this? What? Uh, I found Hitmon Lee, which is the one I have to kill in the Safari Zone. <laughs> and you know how scared I was that it was going to be only in Zone? Oh, yeah, we didn't think about that. <laughs> that was why I muted. I was like, Oh fuck, chat, there's a problem. I was like, hey, I have to mute for this. <laughs> was like, guys, Wait, but you looked it up here, and it's fine, right? It's fine. Yeah, it was in two spots. Oh, or yeah. like two other locations I can go for it. Yeah, I don't have to look it up. I have to look up Hitman uh, Chan at some point. 
Okay. Do you have him on Chan info? No. Okay. Well, I'm gonna evolve first and then see. Well, yeah, I guess you have him on Chan info because you have Tyro. Yeah, I'm at 16 owned now, and I have a Tyro with an XP share in the party. Yeah, I, I caught uh, I caught just three Tyrogues the first time I found him. Yeah, I thought about looking it up, but there's no point. Okay, the defense is one higher than attack. That seems like a good start. Maybe I actually may have just caught three Tyrogues, and I'm done with three Tyrogues. That'd lucky. be impressive. Yeah. I guess if you get hit him on top, it's reasonable to get lucky on that because that's the only real hard one what what do i what do i need what vitamin uh iron iron is defense yeah that's what i need oh there you go uh my defense is higher i'll just do it we don't need money anyway i'll just buy three iron and then evolve it after my defense is a lot higher than my attack. I'm gonna need proteins. I think the first time I tried to evolve Tyro, it was super annoying because every time I use, I tried to get Hitmon top, and every time I used an, a protein, it would be Hitmon Lee, and if I didn't use it, it would be Hitmon Chan. Yeah. It was like overkill. That always used to be such an annoying part of the old catch em all route because we would need our special value to be exact for some of the trainer fly Pokemon. So you would have to use calcium to get to exact numbers and it was never fun. I have this big map of how, like, exactly how many calciums and candies to use on a level, uh, I'm like Mewtwo to get it to hit exactly 259 and to use it on like Zapdos to get 149 because oh those are two like really important Pokemon for the run. I just played that severely. No, no, I'm just gonna go ahead and beat a million trainers. It'll reach a level by then and then hopefully I have more info to look things up because right now I have nothing. I could one way breed it. Machop, that's it. But that's not really giving me any info either. Wait, so you can breed Machop? Yeah. I don't know. You, you mean Machoke? Oh, I see what- yeah, yeah, okay. I was like, wait, why would you breed a Machop? No, for Machop. Yeah, breed for it. Yeah, I saw both Machop and Machoke. So I didn't need to do any breathing with that. And then I found Machamp after. Once I had already planned on evolving it. I'll just beat the E4 guy. Oh my god, dude. My Tyrog is so off on being a thing I need. Oh, Wild Blissey. I'll take that. Uh, this is a catch-all fighting types. Not, not beat. to catch all fighting types and gold and then use a fighting type Pokemon with a fighting type move to knock out the opponent's hitmon in the wild or on a trainer it's quite simple actually
You still think it should be use your Hitmon to beat the other Hitmon? Yeah, no, but that no, can no. be really unfair for one person. Just the just the fighting time. Like, what if one of our Hitmons is only available in the forest and the other person's is only available in Victory Road? It's like an auto win. You have to spend like half an hour training just the Hitmon. Yeah, that would be a tough fight. But you get X items for a while, so it's probably fine. Yeah, that's fair. It would just be annoying. And you don't have to be afraid of a strong special move. Yeah. But I mean, imagine, like, you have to fight a Hitmonchan with Aeroblast that's 45 levels higher than you. Yeah. Could be a thing. But I guess the stipulation was just winning the fight, so we don't technically need to only use the Hitmon for it or whatever. Like, you can weaken it with your main. You can, like, status it or something. Come on. I was gonna go for the beat the E4, but I still need Torchic. I kind of want to, and or Meditite. Like I just want to go in there with one of them at least. Feels like a waste if I don't. What if they're only post-game? No, Shin has them, so... Oh, I don't have the rare candy right now. Oops. There you go, grab the candy first. Uh, here... We do this race for every type. Uh, no, normal types exist. I mean, we kind of have, if you think about it. <laughs> True. We've done the catch them all before. The candy in the zone, time them out. Get them out of here. That never happened. No, that's the wrong fire starter. No. I just want to find one of them, and then E4 feels worth it. Come on. I need to get into Shen's head. Where has he been for encounters? go to more obvious spots than this one. We know how, why I got removed in speed choice. No clue. Three attempts, I've got my Hitmon top. I am 17 out of 18 owned. Well, he wasn't. <laughs> 17 out of 18. It's literally just Breloom. Yeah, just Breloom. And I have a Choice Banded Primate with Karate Chop ready to kill the <laughs> other Hitmon. Yeah, I found the, found the Choice Band too. Oh, never mind. I'm not choice banding the Prime Ape. I forgot I already have four HMs on it. Sure, Albert. All right. Well, we are looking for Streamish or Breloom.
Come on, Torchic. Come on, Meditide. Come on, come on. Ooh, he's told me what lines he's missing. Interesting. I told you earlier. <laughs> It's always interesting with these kind of runs. Like, I wonder where you found Breloom, and you probably wonder where I found the Meditates and the Combuskin yeah. lines. Yeah. Monkatia's title. Yeah, I'm surprised it went through, honestly. I wasn't sure if the title would work. Beating up spies as long as it's consensual, you know? Yeah. Is, pro <laughs> is there boxing on Twitch? I think there has been. Sounds like something that wasn't. I found Tyrog. I hate this. <laughs> what level did you find it at? High. I found it at 30. Yeah, that's where I found it. Ooh, and he has Breloom. He's been here. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> okay, He's I'll let you know. Here. I actually have found two fighting types back to back. Ooh. That's not scary at all. <laughs> what? <laughs> Which two? Uh, I think you're missing them. I think I got Macho Primate back to back. Okay, I know where you are then. No, not not here. Like at at some point. And also at the very beginning of the game, there was. Mankey and Polyrath in the same grass. I did get both of them there. And then yeah. I got Mankey from fishing, and it was like, come on. Yeah, I caught Mankey twice as well. Yeah, asked me not to slap Chris too hard, but it looks like I already have. Yeah, I'm doing pretty well. It's just, you know, we're at that point in the run where both of us are probably out of stuff to do. He's at 0 0.5 trolls remaining. I'm at 0. Point. You're at one because point five point five. No, oh, wait, it's less no, than you're one. At point eight three. Eight, yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> point eight three ultra trolls remain. It's a half to a six, uh, five six. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I don't know the terminology we use on that Ivy. A grand troll or something. Why is it marked blue? I marked Pokemon in blue that I have no way of getting. I have literally no way of getting Brawloom, other than getting lucky and finding it. <gasps> yes, I found one of them. Which one? Meditite. Ooh, okay. So I'm ahead of you now. <laughs> yeah, you have more odds of finding what you need. Let's go! <laughs> By the way, I got Torchic info in the gym. Was it that oh an early one? one? Yeah, an early one. No, oh, that must have been Roxanne's. Resetting, resetting. I only need like 15 minutes to get there. I'm gonna be honest, <laughs> I don't think it was Roxanne. Oh. I think it may have been um Norman. Oh really? You were memeing about Norman's gym too. I found it somewhere between Norman and uh, Watson. I think it was me. It was either Flannery or Norman that I found it. Good thing I haven't beat, beaten them yet. Well, I know that you've beaten them because you found Pokemon above level 30 in the wild. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do have Dig, right? I just walked out. Whatever. 
Well, I'm beating the E4 now. That's pretty hype. I would have considered that, but I don't need to do any evolutions. I'm just rushing wilds and trainers. Which one of them did you find? Did you find Meditate or did you find... Meditate, yeah. Meditate. Oh, yeah, that'll evolve by the time you finish E4. Yeah, that'll evolve by the time you finish E4. We're officially at the point where every time I get a wild, it is a 2 out of 386 being done. One of them finishes slower than the other. One of them's effectively an instant finish. I need to beat Winona. <laughs> I can't get in here. <laughs> right. Forgot about that. You forgot the one singular gem that they actually check for. Yeah. <laughs> It's okay, it gives me something to do. <laughs> Fair enough. I actually haven't done uh, went on this gym yet, I don't think. Maybe Winona has the remaining info. It's Golem and Mew, Ted. There's no Mew in Gen 1. In any game. And there's no Evolved Fossil, either. Like, oh, oh I guess I guess you can count that. You mean never to be seen Pokemon in Gen 1? Yeah, so like if you're doing a see all Pokemon, yeah, yeah, yeah. Run, it's like 136 or something, right? It's 146. You oh, can only not see five. So in blue version, you can't see Electabuzz and you can't see Scyther, and in red version, you can't see Magmar and you can't see. I found the Shroomish. Nice. Um, oh God, it's over. You can't see. Uh, Electabuzz and Magmar are unseeable in each game, and then Scyther Pints are unseeable in each game. And then the other fossil, the one you don't pick, you can't see the fully evolved one. And then you can't see Mew and Golem. Mew and Golem are like the two weird ones. Golem is a weird one, yeah. No, no trainer in the whole game has Golem. Yeah, there's no trainer with Golem, and obviously there's no trainer with Mew. Yeah, it's not looking good for me then, and... I need to get a level on my Shroomish and kill a Hitmonchan. Oh yeah, you still have to do other stuff, right? Yeah, I found Shroomish, not for a long time. It is, it's instantly evolved as soon as I get a level on it, though. I found Hitmonchan. On a train. Possibly time save. I, I didn't save before, though, so... <laughs> God nice. damn. When did I save last? Oh boy. Probably a very long time ago. All right, I'm gonna have to just gamble encounters then. I won't have time to evolve Meditite. Like Brawloom for like a split second that was coming out. That'd been funny. I bet put it in slot two. I believe I did. This was part of the game plan.
Oh, that's a lot of keywords there. Ultimate testing. Maybe one day. Uh, this is my strongest move. Ooh, choice banded karate chop. Huge damage. Are, are you on the Hitmonlee? No, I'm still leveling up the Shroomish. Oh, I see. I am two routes away from the Hitmonlee. Thanks, that's good XP. My Shroomish is level 28. No. Did you main the Hound Doom as well? What Hound Doom? Level 70. No, I didn't get this. One of them was Blissey. I knocked it out with Machoke. <laughs> Wait, say one of them was Machoke? One of them was Blissey, and I knocked it out with Machoke. Oh, you knocked it out with Machoke. That's sick. <laughs> I got I got two levels. <laughs> yeah, that's really sick. Yeah, the I found the Machoke. I was trying to get um, Machamp, so I, like, I wanted to get one of them before I started the big trainer grind. And then I just so happened to find Machoke while I was surfing to where Meditate was. I was like, oh, that's convenient. Alright, I am heading to the Hitmonchan route. Or Hitmonlee. Hitmonlee, yeah. I believe it was only on two routes, and this was one of them. Let me double check. No. Thank you, Salty. Let me evolve my Tyrogue so it looks closer. <laughs> I need to defeat a Hitmonlee, right? Yes. Okay. Because that's because of the emotes. That's why. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. And I need to defeat it with a fighting move on a fighting type Pokemon. I mean, this could be a wall. This could be a difficult battle. <laughs> I mean, it's a wild. But yeah, I... But I mean, it could be pretty annoying. I have three fighting types on me. All three of them know a fighting type move. <laughs> you got backup. Yeah, I've got I've got the whole squad ready. Uh, I should save after I run out the repel. Actually, I should. Make my way down yeah, the route. No info on Torch, Combusk, and Blaziken. Thank you, Vapris. So, if I kept playing normally, I would be in E4 right now for another, I don't know, five minutes probably. Yeah, it'd be pretty bad. And then I would need to breed my Machamp. That wouldn't take too long though. And then I What's still have no info. What's your count at? 14. Okay. So you need to catch four total and then get the KO. Well, I've already seen Were you four ever in, in Shoal? I never did Shoal Cave, no. I figured. I was in like most places, I feel like. I did quite a bit. Oh, this thing's fishing. This is so annoying. Oh, there's one major area I forgot, and it has a good encounter rate, too. I gotta go there. I don't think I have time yet. He's, like, looking for the lead. This needs to be one of those legendary 20-minute 10% trolls. <laughs> By the way, I'm literally in the oasis water fishing, and I've been here before and not had a good time. Is that where it is? Yeah. Oh, I fished there too. I didn't. I got the other encounter twice, I think, and then left. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen the other side. I've seen Rayquaza from fishing. 
I haven't seen the other fishing slot, and I have to get the other water slots after. I'm missing two slots on land and four slots in the water, and then I've seen every slot. I just put Rock Smash on top so I don't throw when I mash the A button with my choice band. Are you using Rock Smash to beat it? Yep. Good I have a Primeape. Right. I, I put my fastest Pokemon in the lead because I didn't want to deal with not being able to run. So I put my fastest of the fightings in the lead, and I have my strongest one I'll send out second. You hate to see it, Chan. You hate to see it. Dude, this thing's rare. I've, I'm only missing two slots left on each water and land. This might take a bit. It could also have Roar, which would be extra fun. Or Explosion. Maybe I should have done E4 anyway. Maybe that was the plan. Remember, it has once taken me 47 minutes to get a 10% in Pokemon Emerald. It was like 300th encounter ditto. I have a Hitmonlee on the Welcome screen. The it is level 27. Level... What was that? 37? 27 him on oh, the on screen. Okay. He's got big. this. Does it kill? It does. News. I've killed it with Rock Smash and Time. GG. Where was the Torchic line? How'd you get them? Torchic was fishing on route uh, 127. Which it one was is fishing. that? Uh, that's just south of... Moss Deep. Oh, I fished there, but only one, I think. Blaziken was on Route 115, which is the one... In the grass or uh, water? North of Rustboro. It was in the water. I think Damn. it was surfing. Yeah, I never went there. And I evolved the Torchic to get Combuskin. I'll look up where Combuskin was. Um, I also found Hitmonchan in the Safari Zone, and I was worried for you that it would only be available in Safari Zone oh. <laughs> in the forest. So it would have been very easy for you to find and kill it. But you looked up Chan, right? Yeah, I looked it up to see if you were going to be screwed. Uh, Combuskin is uh, the water in Petalburg, Mount Pyre, and Seafloor Cavern. So water Petalburg would be I the fished in Petalburg. I didn't get surf encounters. All right. Yeah, no. Whatever. I could have gotten these two, and the other two were possible. GG. You had an easy way of getting him on Chan. Oh, Chan was um, oh, uh, was Victory Road, uh, Safari Zone, and Mount Pyre. And what's funny is one of the trainers in Mount Pyre had a hit on Chan. <laughs> As well. Oh, so okay. you could have just Wait, bought the train. We know that had a hit munchan as well. Oh, nice. Yeah, well, I hope you enjoyed. Um, leave us a comment with other stupid race ideas. Maybe we'll do them. Yeah, do that. <laughs> this is two really dumb ones in a row. <laughs> I don't mind, though. It means it gives us something to do. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. No, just like when we're when we're discussing the rules, we're like five minutes in the race. Like, yeah, yeah. How do we want to end it? Oh, let's <laughs> fight this trainer with with this move or something. It's just always funny.